Well, pretty soon we are going to be flipping our calendar into January of 2023. And I'm praying that God will bring some new victories for you in 2023. I flipped my Bible recently to 1 Corinthians 15, 54, where it says, death is swallowed up in victory. Swallowed up in victory. I think God delights in taking things that are wrong and flipping them right side up. And because of the finished work of Jesus at the cross and his resurrection power, even death gets flipped into a victory of life. I think God delights in flipping things around and turning the tables, changing defeat into a win and mourning into rejoicing. And it's fun to see those situations that seem impossible and watch God make dreams come true turnarounds. I think it's one reason that people like sports, to see your team who looks so defeated and bringing them through an amazing comeback to a victory. There's something exciting about, you know, seeing the underdog win, isn't there? And there's something great about a story where the main character is in a deathly hopeless situation and the tables get turned and the good guys win. I think that comes from the heart of God. He has an amazing turnover rate. The French philosopher Voltaire I was reading about predicted that Christianity would be swept away from existence in about 100 years. But just 50 years later, after he died in 1779, the German Bible Society had occupied Voltaire's house and was using the printing press to produce stacks of Bibles out of that former home. Doesn't that bring a smile to your face to hear that? During World War II, Adolf Hitler erected a massive stone structure in Monte Carlo, and it was used as a radio station from which he could broadcast Nazi propaganda into North Africa. In recent years, from that very building, the Trans World Radio beam has been beaming the, the gospel of Jesus Christ all across Europe and into Russia and Africa. Aren't those stories that are like a source of joy? We have friends that went to the Republic of Congo for, as missionaries, to be medical missionaries there, and they were serving at a medical compound that used to be used as a headquarters for promoting communism. You know, stories like that caused our hearts to resonate with a yay God. I pray that in this coming year, you have many moments where you're able to say, Yay, God! Moments that maybe threaten to kill your joy, but God takes the death of it and swallows it up in victory. Dark moments transform into his glorious light. So be encouraged and may 2023 be a great year of victory.